Have you ever tried to add a subtle spine movement, but your manipulator was so sensitive that you broke your character's back? You should probably apologize for that. Or struggled to even select the manipulator because the lines were so thin? If you're new here, hi, I'm Skitty. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock and learn how to customize our manipulators, starting now. The manipulator's default size doesn't change to the scale of your rig, so if your character is huge, it might look like a peanut in comparison. We can scale it using the plus and minus buttons on our keyboard, which also affects its sensitivity. The larger the manipulator, the less distance the rotation will travel, allowing more precise movements. Go up to the Windows tab, hover over Settings Preferences, and select Preferences. Go to the Manipulators category from the list on the left. Global Scale does what we did with the plus and minus keys. Handle Size scales the handles for the Move and Scale tools, and line size adjusts the thickness of the rotate tool's outline. Line pick size should stay the same size you choose for the line size. It's like a hitbox, the area you can click to select the manipulator. Previous state size changes the size of the gray boxes that represent where you move the object from, but I can't show you that because it's broken in both 2020 and 2019. Don't at me. Default manipulator changes what's active by default. Smart is pretty reliable though, and hide manipulator sets up a command to temporarily hide the manipulator for your view. Port. And that's all you need to know to get customizing your manipulator. Leave a comment below if there's something you didn't understand, like and subscribe if you learned something, links to socials are in the description, and remember to always use a reference.